The UK's first ever hand transplant recipient says he's looking forward to holding his grandson's hand. 51-year-old Mark Cahill had lost the use of his right hand due to disease. He underwent an eight-hour operation to have the hand removed and replaced with a donor hand on December 27, 2012. Well, hopefully I'll be able to get back to work for a start. That's a major difference.、Uh, for a start, I might be able to cut my food up, <laughs> button my shirt, fasten a pair of shoelaces, and mainly I'll be able to hold my grandson's hand. Doctors at Leeds General Infirmary in Northern England said a new technique was used, which allowed very accurate restoration of nerve structures. I'm getting slight movement now.、Uh, I've my feelings just started to come back, but it, everything's looking very, very good. So it's doing well. Professor Simon Kay, who led the surgical team, says Mark's new hand has a very good chance of recovery. I think Mark's got a very strong chance of regaining good function. He had a functionless hand before; he had no function in it at all. Over the next six months to a year, we expect to see recovery of feeling, recovery of movement, recovery of power.、Um, I'd be very disappointed if if that didn't happen. I strongly believe it will. Leeds Teaching Hospital announced in late 2011 that it was looking for candidates for arm and hand transplants. Mr. Cahill was picked for the hand transplant surgery because he was the best tissue match. The Leeds team worked with colleagues in Lyon, France, where hand transplants were pioneered in 1988.